we are now going to share our communion. And you know the word communion speaks of the interspacing and interlinking of all of us. And one of the things I think we're all feeling is the loss that we have had not being able to physically see each other. And I'm so thankful that we're going to be able to meet again as a physical community together. And Paul talked about the communion in 1 Corinthians when he reminded them that, first of all, it was important to approach it from the right perspective. And secondly, that when we celebrate the Lord's death and resurrection in the bread and, and the wine, that we are also reminding ourselves that when Jesus said, this is my body, he was also referring to us. We are his body. And in 1 Corinthians particularly, Paul makes his largest point about the image of the church as a body. And every time we therefore partake of communion, we should be reminded not only of the death and resurrection of Jesus, but also that we are commemorating the wonderful aspect of us as his body that continues to live in this world. Would you please pray with me? In a similar way, <clears throat> his blood is what cleanses us. And again, we're not simply looking at the past, even of the great past sacrifice and power of his blood in the past, but we're focusing on the future, that his blood continues to not only forgive us, but to empower us to be his body in this world. Shall we pray? <clears throat> 